take this trim cover off. I can use a pick and get in underneath here or right here. It's clipped in down here and it's clipped in on the top side. So if you pull the handle out, get behind here, you can pop it off. And there's a cover right here. Just take the pick, slide right there, take that cover off. I'm going to take that screw out. I'm going to use a T20 socket, remove that. And there's two screws right here. Take these out. You can pull this cover off right here. You can use a trim tool. Just slide it out right there. There's a clip right there. And clip down there. And we'll take some trim tools and just slide behind here. And just pop the door panel off. There's all these pins. So just go around the entire, entire door panel. And just slide it up. And now I want to remove this interior door handle cable. Just push with a needle nose pliers right here. Unlatch the cable. Slide it out. And then you can move this retainer over just like that. And then this should slide down. Disconnect the connectors. Just grab and there's a little push tab. Just slide them off. There we go. <clears throat> little tab right there. Then you can slide the door panel out of the way. Right, I want to remove the switch from the door panel. We'll just take a trim tool. There's some tabs right here and right here. Push on those. From the other side, just grab the switch while you're pushing. And just slide it out. I can reconnect the switch so that I can adjust the window. And I don't need to adjust the mirror, so I'm not going to connect that one. Right, I'm just going to grab this little tab right here. Slide this cover off, and then also right here, slide this cover off. This is just taped on. Put the key on, move the window up, and position so that you can see that. And on this side, those are the retainers that hold the window to the regulator. And if your window regulator is not working, you're going to want to pull the window up to about that area right there. Now you're going to do the same thing on both sides over here and through that other hole. Just take a straight blade screwdriver and just push on this little retainer here. Pry up on this and push through. Just like that. Try to lift the window. There we go. That popped out. Now that should hold the window. It would be wise if you had an extra helper to hold the window while you do this. We'll do the same on this side. And there we go. <clears throat> the window is separated. Now I'm gonna slide the window all the way up. Just use some masking tape to hold the window. I like to use three pieces of tape to hold that. It normally holds it pretty good. I'm going to take these screws out of the speaker. I'm going to use a T20 socket. As I take this last one out, just support the speaker. And grab the speaker, slide it out. And disconnect the connector right here. Just push down that tab, slide it out. Grab this cable, just slide this out of that position right there. We want to disconnect the connector in here. The connector is right here behind this lock rod on the inside here. You want to push down on the little button on the top. You can try to use your fingers. If you can't get it like that, you can use some needle nose pliers. Try to get them in there. Push down on the tab. And slide the connector out. That's the tab that you're trying to push down on. Use a trim tool, slide this retainer off, we 
remove this. And there's a connector right here for the uh, window motor. Move this little lock tab right here out. Push down on the button and slide the connector off. You should be able to take all these wires out. Oops, slide that. Try not to break these retainers. that aside. Now I'm going to take a 10 millimeter socket and remove these bolts all around the perimeter of this panel right here. I'm going to start with the bottom ones first. That'll make it a little bit easier. Before I take this last bolt out, I'm actually going to take these three bolts out of the latch assembly. I'm going to use a T30 socket. All right, now this latch is loose. It's still connected to the handle with the rods, but I'm just gonna leave that like that. Now I can take this last bolt out. And just grab the panel. It might be stuck to the door a little bit. Just try to unstick it. You're gonna go up with the panel a little bit and then come down, pull it out. Now you can see those lock rods a little bit easier. You could try to get them through this hole here before, but now I'm gonna pop them off right here. Just pop the pink one off, just push the little lock towards the outside of the car, and then we'll pull the rod towards the center of the car. And then same with the orange one. Push it that way. And then pull the rod. like that. And there we go. I'm going to take the window motor off first. I'm going to use a T30 socket. Remove these three bolts. Grab the motor and just slide it straight out. Then there's four bolts that are on the outside. I'm going to take those off with a T30. Those are for the window regulator. Flip it over. Should be able to slide the window regulator right off. Now I'll take the new regulator and just line up the bolt holes. You can take a couple of the bolts and get them started from the other side. Now I'm gonna hold the regulator and the panel, flip it over, and get these bolts started. Make sure these stud holes come through for the motor, and then we can tighten down these bolts. Take the new window motor and just slide that in position. Right there, you might have to twist it a little bit. Take the screws and I support the regulator with my other hand. I just push down, get these screws started, and just snug them down. All right, take this panel and just slide the latch in and then slide it up underneath like that. That all lines up. Just like that. I'm just going to start one bolt right there. I'm going to start these bolts on the side here for the latch. Now I need to hook up these rods that go to the outside door handle. So slide them back into the position, back into the retainers that hold them, and lock them in place. 
it's kind of hard to see a lot. And get this other one as well. I'll put the rest of these bolts in, get them all started. And tighten them down. It's good. All right, now I'll reposition the wiring harness. Just put it in the same spot that you took it out. And reconnect the window motor right there, and then push down on the lock. I'm going to go around here. Let's put this cable over here first. This will go right here. And connect this connector back to the door latch. And put the wiring harness in the retainers. Right there and right there. Now connect the speaker. Line the speaker up in position. Make sure you don't pinch the wire. Take the screws. Get all the screws started for the speaker. And tighten the screws down. Now I want to put the key in the ignition and lower the window regulator so that I can see where the tab was, where the window locked in on both sides. And that's good. Turn the, then I can turn the key off. Now I'm going to support the window and remove the tape and slide the window down carefully. This helps if you have someone else helping you out. You just want to line these tabs up down here. Make sure that's lined up. And then I can push it down. I'm just going to use a screwdriver to push on the tab to help slide the window on. A little bit on that side and a little on this side. Just be careful. Locked in place right there. I just want to lock in, lock it in on this side. And there we go. And we can turn the key back on. And we can test the operation, make sure everything works good. Perfect. Now I can close this back up and put this cover back on. Disconnect the connector for the switch. All right, let's just hook up this cable right here up to the inner door latch and lock that down. And slide the cable over here, just like that. The wiring harness, just fish it through here. Get the lock rod through the door panel and the top part of the panel needs to slide on. There we go. So have these wires right here, connect the switch, the mirror switch, and the window switch. Just get this in position. Press it down in place. That's good. And then there's a pin that goes right here. You just need to get that pin to line up first. And then all the pins should line up. And just press it on. Just feel around, make sure there's no large gaps. And that looks good. And take this panel right here, just line it up. And push it on. All right, take these screws, install those, and snug those down. And take this screw, get that one in installed. Put this cover on. And this one. 